is Jason Koenigsberg with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. We're here on a northeast facing slope in the Vail Summit Zone, uh, not too far from Vail Pass, where we had a large snowmobile triggered avalanche yesterday on a north facing, northeast facing 40 degree slope. Uh, so we're looking at the snowpack. Here's most of our storm snow down to here. It's pretty pretty soft on the top and prog progressively gets harder. And then we have this little fine-grained, uh, really small-grained facets underneath. Uh, I did a few compression tests and got some uh, really smooth planar uh, failures on that on that weak layer. Underneath this weak layer, it's really hard, pencil hard. So what we have is really hard underneath and really hard on top, and then a soft weak layer and that's contributing to some of these large avalanches. So um, this isn't a heavily wind-loaded area, but um, there's even more danger where you're putting, you know, two, three, even five feet of wind-loaded snow on top of this weak layer here. So it's gonna take some time to heal and uh, things will be, we'll have some heightened avalanche conditions on northerly facing slopes uh, near tree line and above tree line for some time to come.